Hello, this is Stefan from the More3D Tech team. In today's tutorial we will look at how to configure your Morvis for output on an HTC Vive Pro and different Siemens apps. After downloading and installing the software you will find these icons on your desktop or in the More3D program group. First of all, please launch the Morvis server control. Once the server control has started, you will notice this little icon in the tray bar. Right click it and select properties. When you are using the actual application as well as the HMD on your local PC, the perfect connection type is shared memory. For setups using a remote PC for VR visualization, the TCP IP connection is perfect. We recommend having a dedicated connection between the host PC, so the PC that is running your plan simulation, your NX or the, the application you want to see in VR, and the VR visualization PC. You need to enter the IP of the visualization PC in here. As I'm using my local machine, I will configure for shared memory. So. Once that is done, right-click the tray icon again and go for the Morvis Application Enabler. In here, you can click the Locate Known Apps button to identify the installations detected by Morvis. Alternatively, feel free to use the Add Application button for manually adding applications. I will now add the NX11 installation. I simply copy the path, paste it in here, look for the correct exe, which is ugraph.exe for NX, and click open. All I need to do now is click the enable check mark. Now it is enabled for direct VR bridging. Let's take a look at how to use plant simulation in VR. First, you need to launch your Morbis client. Right-click into the client and hit Restore to send it into a windowed mode. Right-click it again, go to General Settings and select your output type. Quick note. Oculus, HTC Vive, Vive Pro, and all Windows Mixed Reality HMDs share the same output device, which is SteamVR. So please configure for SteamVR output type. Click OK and restart your Morvis client. Ready to run Plant Simulation. Inside Plant Simulation you need to make one more setting, which is hidden here under the 3D and you want to configure the OpenGL version to be 1.5. And then you're good to go. You can load any model you like. And there we are. I am now inside of VR and I can freely move around and run around and go for the flying mode. and see my model in full VR. I have the full control by pointing into a direction and pulling the trigger to move into any direction I like. The red line indicates where my target is. Further, further we have this little button, the menu button, on top of the touchpad. There I can, for instance, turn off or on the laser. I can do a simple measurement. I can clip away geometry. And I can add flags, so I have saved them as a point of interest for later presentation or review. 
further, I can make the movement speed slower or faster. I can scale the model to be smaller or bigger, but keep in mind Morbis automatically starts as a one by one representation in VR. So the distances should definitely be correct when I measure this. Oh, like this. We already get more than a meter, so th that's really to scale. But again, make sure to have a quick control of the measurements inside of your actual application as Morvis just measures by the graphic data. All right, let's take a look at NX. As I already enabled NX, there's nothing else for me to do than just to start NX, which can take a while. Once the loading process has finished, go to View and enable the perspective view of an X. And you are directly ready to navigate inside VR, where I will now make the movement speed a lot slower. The same goes when wanting to see, for instance, Process Simulate. First of all, we need to add it to the Application Enabler. Which is tune.exe. Then we need to hit the Browse button open this folder and locate the new world subfolder for process simulate and then we can already enable the application and now what's left to do is to run it Like Plant Simulation, Process Simulate also requires the OpenGL level to be set to 1.5. You find it in the option in the Performance tab. Set the OpenGL acceleration level to version 1.5. Go for a view and make sure that the perspective mode is enabled. Then you are directly ready for interaction in VR. Take a look at the video description for the full controller layout of the Morvis One software for HTC Vive. That's it for this quick tutorial. Please don't hesitate to contact us under support at more3d.com for technical assistance. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. <laughs>